Hey guys, Cash here. Welcome back for another Thursday flow. So today's flow is a mandala flow. So pretty much that just means we're gonna be starting at one end of the mat, making our way down to the other end, and then going back around. So we're gonna be moving in somewhat of a circular motion throughout this class. We're gonna start today laying flat on the back. Take a moment here to relax your head, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, maybe soften the eyebrows, maybe wiggle the toes, move the head from side to side. Begin to come back into your body. So I mentioned not too long ago that today's class is a mandala flow. And in addition to that theme of the class is what resists persists. So a lot of times in life we try to avoid certain issues that cause us pain, that make us uncomfortable, but even through that avoidance, that issue always finds a way to rear its ugly head back into our lives. So sometimes it's not about as much as avoiding the issue as it is facing it handling it so that way you can move on from it. So today's flow is meant to encourage you to do just that. So we're moving in the circular motion, revisiting certain poses that we've already done, just like in life how you might revisit certain issues that you feel like you've accomplished. But as we move through these poses and do them one time, two times, even three times, notice what's different. Notice what you feel differently. Notice if you breathe differently. Notice if you get into the pose differently after doing it once, twice, three times. And notice what you learn from each repetition there. So as we flow today, I, my goal, my hope is that you can translate this practice into whatever else it is that you're facing in life. Whatever issue that keeps reoccurring, my hope is that this practice can show you, reveal to you through your own self what it is that might need to change or what it is that you might need to learn or gain from that particular issue. So we'll start off our practice with a little bit of breath, taking a deep breath in, a slow breath out. Again, deep breath in, Slow breath out. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Trying to hear and listen to the audible sound of your breath. We'll take one more breath in, slow breath out. From here, inhale, reach the arms up above the head, arms come next to ears, maybe flex the toes, reaching super duper long through the fingertips. And on your exhale, sweep the arms around, hug the knees in towards your chest, Exhaling fully, maybe rounding the forehead towards the knees. Inhaling to lower back down. Continue exhaling as you move from side to side. Move your head from side to side. And inhaling as you hold and breathe here. Always being mindful of your breath. We're going to start our practice off with a little bit of core. Everybody's favorite because core is that fire, that energy, that courage, that confidence, it starts in your core. So we're building up the core in order to build up the courage and the confidence to face those issues that still linger, that we don't want to face, that we would want to run away from. All right, so we'll take the shins parallel with the mat, legs are in the air, clasp your hands, take your hands to the back of your head. We're doing cross body crunches. So as you're laying flat on the mat, you'll inhale. As you lift your shoulder blades up, you'll exhale and take your left elbow to your right knee. Exhaling here. 
Inhale, lower. Exhale, right elbow to left knee. 10 each side, inhale, exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Hold, left elbow, right knee, 10, 9, 8, you can do it, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch up. We've got 10, nine, eight. You can do it. Seven, keep breathing. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up six, five, four, three, two, one. You know we're holding. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one nice job slowly lower down take your feet flat feet wider than your mat let's do some windshield wipers here oh yeah stretching out that core moving from side to side awesome awesome work but we are not done we still got a little bit more core i promise you're gonna love me after this all right we'll slowly come back to center Taking both feet flat, heels in towards the glutes. Arms are gonna come long beside the body. From here, slowly peel the shoulder blades up. So your back is still flat on the mat, glued to the mat, just the shoulder blades are up. Fingertips are reaching towards the heels. We've got heel taps. Inhale at center, exhale to tap. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going right into bridge, lower the shoulder blades, lower the head. Press down through the heels. Inhale, lift the hips. Nice squeeze in the glutes. Keep your thighs parallel. Press the weight straight down into the heels. Take an inhale. As you exhale, Slowly return your hips back down to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up above the head, smile. Exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a great big squeeze. Maybe circle the feet, move your head from side to side. And once you're ready from there, come back to stillness. We're going into half happy baby. So for that, we'll start by taking your left foot flat to the mat keeping the right knee in towards the chest. From here, take your right leg straight into the air. Knee should be bent, so your knee should be dropping down towards the mat. The bottom of your right foot should face the ceiling. From here with your hand, right hand, reach towards either your ankle or the outside of your right foot, and then gently begin to drop your knee down using your hand, drop your knee down closer towards the mat. All right, if you would like, if it feels okay there, you can extend your left leg long. Most important thing here is that the bottom of your right foot is facing the ceiling and that your knee is getting closer towards the ground. From here, you can play around with the angle of your knee, so maybe straightening out for a little bit and then rebending, moving it from side to side. You should feel this stretch in your hips. Stay active through your left foot if it's extended. So flexing the toes so they're coming back towards the body and your heel is pressing up. That's with the left foot. All right, we're gonna hang out here and breathe. Nice. Whenever you feel ready, re-bend the left knee and then completely cross your right leg over the left leg. Completely cross right over left and then drop both of your knees over to the left forward twist. Arms open wide, gaze moves to the right. 
oh yeah, this should feel super good after all that core that we just did, stretching it out. And if having your legs crossed is uncomfortable here, you can always uncross your legs and just twist both of your knees towards the left side. All right, let's take one more inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Once you're ready, inhale, take your legs to center. Exhale, bring both of your feet flat. We're gonna do a round of bridge to reset the spine. Once you're ready, press down through the heels. Inhale, lift the hips. Nice squeeze of the glutes. Remember, thighs are parallel. Weight is down into the heels. Squeezing, lifting up, taking an inhale. Exhale, very slowly lower back down. Extend the legs long. Inhale, reach the arms up above the head, really reaching through fingers, reaching through the toes. As you exhale, have your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a great big squeeze. All right, taking it over to the left side. So this time your right foot's gonna come totally flat to the mat. Right foot totally flat. And then left knee is hugging in towards your chest. From here, half happy baby for the left side. So take your left leg into the air with your knee bent. The most important thing here is that the bottom of your left foot's facing the ceiling. Knee is dropping down towards the mat. With your left hand, reach up to catch either your ankle and then gently ease that knee closer towards the mat or reach up to catch the outside of your left foot. Once again, very gently easing that knee closer towards the mat. Remember, most important things is that the bottom of your left foot is facing the ceiling and that your knee is slowly opening up. Remember your options here. If you're comfortable here and you would like to go further, you can extend the right leg long, making sure to keep those toes flexed back towards the body. If you wanna get a little bit more in the back of the left leg, you can begin to play around with the angle of your knee, so slowly straightening out and rebending moving the hip from side to side, breathing into your body, just seeing what it feels like. Noticing what makes your left side different from your right. We'll take one more inhale, nice slow exhale. From here, re-bend your right knee, completely cross left over right, drop both knees over to the right, Arms open wide, gaze moves to the left. Once again, if having your legs crossed for this twist, if that's uncomfortable, you can always uncross your legs and just twist both of your knees over towards the right. Come back to that sweet breath, loosening up that core here. One more deep breath in. Slow breath out. Whenever you're ready, inhale back to center. Exhale, your knees in towards the chest. Maybe circling your feet in one direction, pointing and flexing your toes. So little fun fact here, you're not really supposed to wear socks in yoga practice because you're not stable. You don't have as good contact with your mat. But my toes get really numb and really cold, so I wear socks when I practice yoga. But I always say just do what's best for you. You know, if you're slipping and sliding with socks on, then take them off. But if your toes are cold and they get numb, then keep them on. You just gotta do what works. All right, enough of that fun fact. We're slowly gonna rock up, going up towards the shoulders, down to the low back, getting a nice massage for the spine. Once you're ready, we'll rock all the way forward and then come together in tabletop. Wrists below shoulders, knees below hips. So we'll do a few rounds of cat and cow. Begin to drop your belly down, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your gaze, and then press the ground away from you. Round your spine up towards the sky. Tuck your chin in towards the chest. Inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, gaze up. Exhale, press the ground away from you, round up. All right, so keep moving through these two poses. Feeling that stretch in your spine. Feel free to add variations that feel good for you. Maybe going in a circular motion. Maybe moving your head from side to side. 
We'll hang out here for another three breaths. Again, always taking that time to tune into your body. You know, I'm just offering suggestions here. I'm just a guide, but ultimately you know what your body needs. Only you really know if your leg is hurting. You know, you can tell somebody, hey, my leg hurts, but nobody knows what that leg pain feels like except for you. So if there's some movements that you feel like is just right for your body, it feels good for your body, then take it, you know? Because at the end of the day, only really you know. All right, we'll meet back together here at table. From here, extend your right toes long. Right toes are tucked under. From here, spin the right heel down so right toes are pointing open for the right side. Going into a half side plank. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Press the hips forward, really squeezing the glutes here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, take your right hand down. Tuck your right toes under, extend the left leg coming into full plank. From there, lift your hips up and then back, downward facing dog. So for downward dog, hips are high, chest is pressing back for the thighs, head is heavy. Should be able to shake your head yes, nod your head no. Really press the hips all the way up in the, up towards the back of the room. Maybe reach the heels down, shake your head yes, nod your head no. All right, getting ready to get into our mandala. From here, inhale, right leg long. As you exhale, step your right foot up to the top of the mat. Right heel is glued to the mat, knee in line with the ankle. Back toes should be tucked under. From here, inhale, reach the arms up, crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in, slow breath out. So quick alignment cues for crescent because we will be back here. Right foot is at the top of the mat. Knees in line with the ankle and all the weight is pressing into your front heel. Your back leg, make sure your toes are tucked under and your back heel is up off of the mat. Core is pulling back towards the spine. Chest is lifting up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, part the arms, fold down. Fingertips come to frame your right foot. From here, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat to come to your left foot. Mandala number one of class. All right, so from here, hands are down on the mat. Step your left leg back into plank. Stay up in plank, holding for three, shoulders over wrist. Two, core is nice and tight, one, Oh yeah, bring the knees down. We did half chaturangas last week. We're gonna do that again this week. Lift your toes off the mat, legs are in the air. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower down halfway, keeping the arms towards the body. Once you're ready, lower all the way flat. Untuck the toes, press down through the palms. Inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Going into downward dog, tuck your toes under. Inhale, lift up and then back, downward facing dog. Hips are high, chest is pressing back for the thighs, head is heavy. All right, going back into crescent lunge, right leg. Inhale, reach your right leg up. As you exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat. Right heel is glued to the mat. Knee in line with the ankle, second time in crescent. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Second time here, notice what's different. Maybe you've got the form, so maybe your knees in line with the ankle, heels pressing back for that front foot. For the back foot, your left toes are tucked under, left heel is off the mat. Maybe your heart rate is picked up here. Maybe your thighs shaking a little bit. Maybe you're having a little bit more trouble with balance. Maybe it's easier to balance. But notice what's changed the second time in Crescent. Keep pulling that belly button back towards the spine. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Nice. Spin your left heel down. So now your left heel is flat to the mat. Reach your right arm forward, left arm back, warrior two. Keep bending into that right knee. 
Feel the opening up through your hips. Breathe. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. From here, take your right forearm to your right thigh and then reach the left arm over towards the right. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take your left arm back behind you. Reach your right arm forward, warrior two. As you exhale, part roll the fingertips down to face, frame your right foot. From here, mandala number two. Walk your hands all the way back over to your left foot towards the front of the mat. From here, step your left foot, your right foot, up to meet your left, fold at the top of the mat. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Shake your head yes, nod your head no. Whenever you're ready, hands to shins. Inhale, halfway lift up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach the arms up, palms touch, gaze up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, part fold. Deep bend in the knees, hands come down to the mat, step back into plank. Holding plank once again, three, shoulders over wrists, two, belly button pulling out towards the spine, one, slowly drop your knees, lift the toes up, inhale, exhale, hug the arms close, let the elbows bend back behind you, half chaturanga, lower all the way flat, inhale, baby cobra, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, exhale, lower, taking it back into child's pose, inhale, table, exhale, knees wide, big toes touch, hips go back, relax the forehead, Child's pose, breathe, feel, notice. What is going on in your body right now? A little wardrobe adjustment, don't mind me. Notice what's going on. We move through crescent lunge twice. We did a mandala twice, we did warrior two ones. What did your body feel? Whenever you're ready, we'll inhale, slowly come back to table. From table, knees come back below the hips, wrists below the shoulders. All right, we're going into our half side plank for the left side. So extend the left toes long. From here, Spin your left heel down so your left toes are pointing open towards the left side. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Keep squeezing your glutes. Keep lifting your hips higher, pressing down through your right hand. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, take your left hand down. Back into plank. Left toes are tucked under, right toes are tucked under. Holding plank for three, belly button towards spine, shoulders over wrists, two, one. Hips go up and then back, downward facing dog. Hips are high, chest is pressing back for the thighs, head is heavy, should be able to shake your head yes, nod your head no. Just taking a moment here, maybe pedaling out the feet. We've got about three breaths in and out right here. Two. Last inhale. Slow exhale. Inhale that left leg up for the sky. Exhale, step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Crescent lunge. Make sure left heel is down, knees in line with the ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Make sure your back toes, your right toes are tucked under and your right heel is up off of the mat. Pull the belly button back towards the spine, reach the fingertips up, but drop the shoulders down. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. 
Slow breath out. One more deep breath in. Slow breath out. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, take your fingertips down to frame your left foot and then walk your hands all the way back to your right foot at the back of the mat. Mandala number three. From here, step your right leg back into plank. Shoulders over wrist, core is nice and tight. Pull the belly button up towards the spine, holding here for three, two, one. Slowly drop your knees, lift your feet up, take an inhale, half chaturanga. Exhale, lower down halfway. From here, lower your belly, relax the legs, press down through the palms, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, baby cobra, as you exhale, lower down. From here, back to downward dog, inhale, table, exhale, lift the hips, press up, and then press back, downward facing dog. Hips are nice and high, chest is pressing back from the thighs, head is heavy, should be able to shake your head yes, nod your head no. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg high, crescent number two for the left side. Step your left foot up to the top of the mat. Remember, left heel is glued to the mat, knee in line with the ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Second time here in crescent lunge for the left side. Notice what's different. You've been here before in this situation, in this crescent pose. Notice what feels different about it. Maybe your leg is a little bit more shaky. Maybe your form is better. Maybe your form has changed. Breathe into it. One more breath in. Slow breath out. From here, spin your right heel down so the right toes open for the right side. Reach your right arm behind you, left arm forward, warrior two. Keep bending into that left knee. Make sure knees in line with the ankle. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe. So you should feel opposing pulls here. Right fingertips are pulling towards the right. Left fingertips are pulling towards the left. So it's keeping your torso nice and at center. Take one more breath in. Slow breath out. Humble warrior, bend the left elbow, left forearm to your left thigh. Reach your right arm all the way over to the right side. Keep bending into that left knee. Keep reaching through the right fingers. Take an inhale. Exhale. From here, inhale. Reach your right arm back behind you. As you exhale, left arm forward. Slide the right arm down your right leg and then reach all the way towards the right or towards the back with the left fingertips. Keep bending into the left knee. One breath in. Slow breath out. Slowly make your way back to warrior two. Holding, breathing, one deep breath in. As you exhale, cartwheel your fingertips to frame your left foot. Our last and final mandala for class. Walk your hands all the way back to your right foot at the top of the mat. From here, step your left foot up to meet the right, fold forward. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Ooh, yeah, nice work. Hands to shins. Inhale, halfway lift up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach the arms up, palms touch, gaze up. Exhale, hands to the heart, last flow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, part the arms, fold all the way forward. Take a deep bend in the knees, let your hands touch down to the mat, step back into plank. Three second hold in plank, last time. Belly button pulling up towards the spine. Shoulders are over wrist, core is super duper tight. I know this is way longer than three seconds, but you're strong, I know you can stay here. Three, two, one. And this time we're gonna do a full chaturanga. Feel free to drop the knees if you need to. If you would like to do the full, hug the arms in, 
Bend the elbows towards the back room. Arms are close. Inhale. Exhale, release fully down. Untuck the toes. Press down through the palms. Inhale, peel the chest up. Upward dog. Exhale, lower. From here, we're going into child's pose. Inhale, table. Exhale, knees wide, big toes touch, hips go back, relax your forehead down. Child's pose. Come back to your breath. Noticing here your energy. We went around in circles a lot for today's practice. What does it feel like? What changed? What stayed the same? From here, whenever you're ready, inhale up to table. From table, we're gonna do side plank on each side one more time. So extend the right toes, spin the right heel down, toes are gonna plank open towards the right, and then inhale, reach your right arm up. If you would like to progress, you can begin to lift your left leg up, taking both legs long for side plank, inhale, exhale, right hand comes down, shifting into full plank, holding, three, two, one. Drop the knees, extend the left leg, side plank for the left side. Spin the left heel down towards the left. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Feel free to stay here or to extend your right leg long, squeezing the side body here, reaching the fingertips up. Three, two, one, and slowly take the left hand down. Final plank, I promise, holding three, two, one one and slowly come back down to your belly once you're ready flip over onto your back and hug your knees in towards your chest give yourself a great big squeeze rock from side to side massage your lower back massage your spine maybe circle out your feet move your head from side to side We'll stretch it out here with two final poses, happy baby and bridge. We'll go happy baby first. So we did half happy baby on each leg at the beginning of, beginning of practice. Now we're gonna close off with full happy baby. So spread the knees wide, take your legs straight into the air. Reach your arms towards the insides of the legs. From here, either wrap around to catch the outsides of your feet, if that's available to you, if not, you can just reach your hands towards your ankle and then gently drop your knees down towards the mat. All right, from here, once you're in the pose, you can rock from side to side. You can kick your heel in towards your hands. Remember a few key things that are super important for this pose. Number one is that the bottom of your feet are facing the ceiling. And then number two is that you're gently trying to drop your knee down towards the mat. Right, so take one more breath in. Slow breath out. Whenever you're ready, slowly release both feet flat to the mat. Final pose is bridge pose. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Bring your heels in towards the glutes. Press down through your heels. Inhale, lift your hips. Nice squeeze in your glutes, holding here for 10. Breathing, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly return the hips down. Extend your legs long. Relax your arms. Let go and close your eyes. Shavasana, the end of our practice here today. My hope is that this practice will help you and assist you in facing what it is that you may have been avoiding and that you learned something through that lesson. 
And that once you do face what it is you have been avoiding, that you can let that go. Knowing that the issues that arise in our lives that challenge us, that they don't define who we are. They just define the next step that we should take. And that is absolutely okay. So as you lay here in your Shavasana, just let go of this practice, of anything that's not serving you, any ideas, any thoughts, and start to find that courage. I'll shut up and stop talking so you can really enjoy your Shavasana now. to wake back up, taking small movements, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, maybe moving the head from side to side, slowly starting to bend the knees and the elbows. And once your body is ready, we'll roll over to one side and meet together with a comfortable seat. Thank you guys so much for joining me here for another Thursday Flow. It has been my pleasure to be your guide on your journey back to self. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked this flow, it would be such an honor if you commented, shared, subscribed, gave me a thumbs up, it's all so appreciated in every comment, every like, every subscription. I see every single one and each one is so special to me. So if you like this, please continue to pass it on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.